Welcome back, guys. We are here for another update and some other stuff going on. I just wanted to share with you guys. Uh, first of all, let us take a look at our African Violets in Water Culture. Da -da 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 -da. This one, as you probably remember, if you've been following, the crown was tiny. It had a uh, crown rod, I believe, and root rot. I cut all the roots off, put it in the water culture, and look at how wonderful these roots are. Fantastic. Doing really well in water culture. And the crown is getting huge. These, all these deep green leaves obviously are the new uh, leaves coming out of the crown. So it's doing very, very well in water culture. Next up, we have this one. It's double rosy eye. It is beautiful, beautiful. It is blooming its brains out. Um, one thing that I had to do, it was drinking so much water so quickly and it continued to dry out. I was watering it like every two days. So I decided to wrap the roots in nothing but yarn, color, uh, pretty colored yarn that kind of matches the flowers a little bit. Um, so I, all that is is yarn. I wrapped around the root ball and I have a little wick obviously at the end that goes into the water and it keeps it nice and hydrated and it is blooming like crazy. That's the second flower. Uh, that's the first flower behind it. We have another uh, flower spike there. Spike here, this one's getting ready to open up soon. And another one right back there. I don't know if you can see it, there it is. So, uh, so far so good. Water culture for these two guys doing fantastic. Next up we have the orchid with the spray culture. Let's take a look at this puppy. I remember I originally showed you the little roots that were growing. Look at how big they're getting. Getting so big. That one in the front here and those two there are the new roots from the spray culture. And the other roots are still holding on for the most part. You can see the bottom roots are still a little bit wet from uh, last time I sprayed. But it is doing fantastic. Leaf continues to grow. Look at how long that leaf is. That's the, uh, the leaf prior. But this new leaf is just continuing to grow nice and healthy. And uh, I will continue on to show you what goes on with the spray culture. So let me move these guys out of the way. And next up we have the next project that is for the spring. Since we are now in January, it's coleus time. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. So every year I love taking coleus cuttings and propagating them, whether it's in water or in a soil slash perlite mix. And I'm doing the watering mat with little wicks at the bottom. I'll show you what that looks like. This is a great way to be able to water all of your cuttings at the same time and kind of not have to fuss over them for too long. So anytime I water, I just pour some water into the tray that has the felt, the mat, and uh, I, I leave maybe like, hmm, I'd say a centimeter of water at first, and what ends up happening is the wicks then get moisturized and start uh, wicking up, <laughs> seeping up the, the moisture through capillary action into the pots. They saturate the soil, and usually at that point, there's no puddle or anything left behind in the tray, and everything is happy and healthy. These guys are doing great. Nobody looks severely dehydrated. The leaves are nice and firm and upright. And we have, let's see, one, two, three or four different types here. But there, I'm gonna have a whole bunch. And I'm also getting some seeds in of um, wild pollinated coleus, which is gonna be lots of fun. And I'll bring you through that journey too, because all of those um, seeds, when they sprout, all of those little plants are gonna be completely different. I don't even know what I'm getting. And uh, we'll see what we can come up with as far as some new varieties. Anyway, that is the update. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your comments. Keep them coming. I love talking plants. You know that by now, probably. Uh, if you have any questions on anything, just give a holler, and I will be more than happy to, to start chatting with you guys. Otherwise, please subscribe if you haven't. Give us a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video.